Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. So, I have returned to my fancy new apartment here at Corpo Plaza. I mostly came here to take a nap since it was like the middle of the night. And I wanted to customize a new terrible outfit for V. Although this one actually doesn't uh, look all that terrible to be honest. I mean it's... Um, vaguely color matching and the separate parts aren't that awful either so I guess we will be wearing this for a while <laughs> um, and I did also do a few scanner missions in between recordings because as I said before sometimes I just like to play a little bit on my own without having to do commentary it's very relaxing to do this every now and then and these scanner missions are like um, the perfect mindless task to do for something like that. Anyway, um, while I was doing that, I did receive, first of all, a new message. So let's take a look at that. It's from Claire. I haven't read it yet. Let's see what she wants. Hey, Avi. Not like I'd be afraid of riding shotgun with you or anything, but put some practice in before the next race, okay? What do you mean? We won the race. No, to be fair, I did um, damage the car quite a bit, so maybe that's what she's referring to. <laughs> hey, you consider me a menace on the road? Yeah, yeah, the champion has spoken. How's your aim? <laughs> I mean, I was a bit of a menace during that race, but it still turned out well for us, right? If anyone's a menace on the road, it's me. You just get us to the finish line in one piece. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we did arrive in one piece and at first place. So I'm not sure if she's going to send this message anyway, regardless of how the race went, or if this is actually connected to how much damage you received during the race. Because it can't be like the result since, you know, I, I did win the race. So that isn't it. Fine, I'll practice, promise. Come on, that's just how I drive. It's part of my style. <laughs> it totally is. That's why I love you, V. <laughs> but seriously, practice. Yeah, I guess uh, she's currently busy repairing her beast and that's why she's um, sending me this and all I can reply is um, a smiley. <laughs> V is texting smileys like some kind of boomer, but whatever. <laughs> okay, she isn't actually replying anything to that. Okay, so that is done. And um, I also got a phone call while I was doing scanner missions. And it was one of these phone calls that you can't reject. You just accept it automatically. Um, and it was like the Paralysis guy from like two episodes ago. <laughs> Uh, he didn't really say much, just that he wants to meet me again because he has something else um, that I can do for him. So yeah, this did give me a quest. Um, I'm supposed to meet them at their apartment. Um, so apparently the previous quest may have some kind of follow-up um, and we can take a look at that. However, maybe today I will actually uh, return to my main mission. Specifically this one, since, you know, Takemura has been waiting for me for quite some time, so... Maybe it's time to actually go and meet with him. Um, since it's been a while that we got this quest, let's read the description again. If someone told me I'd be taking calls from Saburu Arasaka's fucking bodyguard, I'd have laughed in their face and now we're supposed to meet with some Takemura, hand over our deeds. I'm not even gonna pretend like this is a good idea, but fuck it, sometimes you just gotta go all in. Yeah, I think he wanted to meet with, like, a friend of his, and he might be able to help us. But okay, let's um, leave, and let's see what Takemura has in mind here. I gotta say though, this apartment is slightly less convenient since you have to take the elevator down to reach the fast travel spot. 
the fast rule spot is definitely a little bit closer to the um, apartment that we had before. But okay, um, let's see. Uh, well, there isn't really any uh, fast travel spot in the vicinity. So maybe I'm actually just going to uh, take a bike. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm going to switch back to Jackie's bike. It had put the uh, Scorpion bike on my default. But we will take this one again. Okay, um, this will take a few minutes and I'll bring you back once I've arrived. Alright, this seems to be the location. Of course, no trace of Takemura so far. Okay, I'm just supposed to wait here and then he will show up. However, um, before I do that, I think I saw like a tarot card very close by. So maybe I will try to find this first. It seems to be right over here. And I guess I'll take whatever that is. Capacity booster. Okay. Um... Well, <laughs> judging from the scepter in this figure's hand, I'm guessing it's the Hierophant. It is. So is this supposed to be like um, Takemura's symbol maybe, since I'm supposed to meet with him here? Anyway, let's read the description as well. The Hierophant symbolizes a respect for tradition. It represents one who tries to maintain the established order, even though their very character is shaped by it. The Hierophant places his faith in institutions, for the alternative is pure chaos. Only by placing his faith in order can he draw strength. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like Takemura, huh? so I guess this is supposed to be his card. And yeah, um... We already have a pretty good set here, so there aren't that many left. I mean, some of them are part of the DLC, so I might not be able to get them just yet. But okay, now let's go and um, wait for Takemura-san. Oh, that's the bullet. It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. <laughs> it is appropriate for such a secret meeting. You look awful. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. <laughs> you see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. All right. So, where's your friend? Apparently he's not here yet. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? Mm. From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Or he'll sell our asses out, if you can trust him. Yeah, can you trust him? Sure you can trust him. Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I mean, he seems to be I convinced. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? <laughs> no, Worse, it's not better at all. Because I got yes. plenty to lose. <laughs> People who have nothing to lose may take um, irresponsible risks. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Okay. Take your word for it. Oh, 
Hake Murasan. Oda. Is this her? <laughs> Your thief. She's my witness. V. Can speak for myself, you know. <laughs> so speak. I have been told you know things. I certainly do know things. Yuru Nobu strangled his father. Not gonna like what I have to say. Need a guarantee. Uh, no, let's just get straight to the Bit point. your tongue. Is there? So what happened? Yuru Nobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. <laughs> you will bring death to your door. Uh, he certainly it is didn't truth. like what he heard. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, uh, I have not yet failed to here. keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor mm. now by not nope. cutting it off and taking nope. it straight to your noble summer. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. All right, let's Consider take one of these options Rocky, here. That Oda, I... not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. Great. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. This went well. <laughs> Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Oh, can't use this option. But at least we tried, right? Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes. And obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, what perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. Hmm. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Um, slow down. This isn't gonna be easy. I guess so. H hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. Well, I guess we can try Wakako. No, just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Okay, let's Will do it. Will you join me? Uh, yeah, sure. In for a penny, in for a pound, I suppose. Sure, why not? So, is this your car? It looks terrible. <laughs> anyway, let me quickly read that message from Claire. Okay, it's the next race. Hey, next race is in the Badlands. The nomads don't fuck around when it comes to burning rubber on their home turf. So I'm gonna need you in top form, like for reals. Meet at the end of Brookland Street at the new dam. Call me uh, like last time. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, so the next race is scheduled, but um, that'll have to wait for a while. Let's continue with this first. GG Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a Night City name. Beware, you mock me too often. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> um, so, how are you? You alright, Goro? 
Yes. Why the sudden concern? Just asking. <laughs> yeah, just asking. Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... <laughs> I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. So, what's going on at Arasaka? <laughs> I mean, how would he know? He's on the run, right? Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see mm -hmm. on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Hmm. All right, let's uh, go and talk to Wakako. What is that noise? <laughs> also, I didn't really thought that you would be like the smooth jazz kind of guy, <laughs> Takamura. And another thing that I've been wondering, that Oda guy did drop the info about the parade very casually and almost a little bit odd in that uh, point in the discussion. He didn't really need to say it, right? It was completely unprompted. So I wonder if um, Takemura thinks that Oda kind of was trying to give him some kind of hint here. You know, I can't help you because I would betray, you know, my employer, but... She happens to be at that parade, so if you want to talk to her, that's where you have to go. Or maybe he was just really careless with that information and just dropped it on us like that. But anyway, let's um, just skip the rest of this ride. <laughs> I think we actually were pretty much at our destination already and we just jumped over like 10 meters or something, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Right. Let's leave. May they weigh round back. And okay, I guess I'm just going to follow you. I'd say so. Just what stays inside? One of those kids bumped into his mama. She told the fam she worked at a hotel. Rough stuff, huh? Rough's not the word. <laughs> Try disaster. Sad sitch. Sad sitch. Um, anyway, let's not completely you, lose you Takemura in here. No good bastard, son of a bitch. Stop oh yeah, I think right I remember these guys. Understood. They are still oh, fighting, honey. apparently. Honey. Hey, honey. <laughs> now, I may not be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? Uh oh On the TV? <laughs> Very unlikely. Well, oh, but of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flash! Oh, <laughs> you are just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night mm. comedy host! He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. <laughs> Can you still do your famous, better bugger up? No. Come on, you don't forget a thing like that. Just once, please. V, we should go in <laughs> now. Maybe you should just play along. It's a good cover. Hideshi, don't leave this poor guy <laughs> hanging. This is not the best time. It is totally Truly. the time for this. Oh, come on. I haven't heard it in years. Beta oh. <laughs> Bakuran! <laughs> he isn't impressed. Wow. Hino-san, <laughs> what happened to you? I do not know. I do not recognize myself. Are you happy? May we go? Yeah, like you said, he fell off the wagon. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Fine, let's go. Hideshi uh, Hino, to have fallen so far. Such a shame. Yep, quite the shame indeed. Anyway, he's just walking in here. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. Ooh. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have... 
guests. Interesting conversation. V, so nice to see you. <laughs> and your charming friend is? Um, <laughs> I'm actually very sad that I can't pick this option. This would be funny. So yeah, we're just working together. Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. Well, apparently she knows. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. We came with Beth and your love to make Eddie simple. You're damn curious. Yeah, Eddie's are probably a better argument. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them, we got this. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well, I still have my phone at hand. <laughs> okay, we need intel on that parade. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the yeah. phone? You know everything that goes on in this hood. God, why is Dex not available? Remind me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know about that already. Come on. Got your finger on the hood's pulse. Know everything. Parade honoring Saburo Arasaka? You're prepping in some way, no doubt. Won't see me dressed in mourning. <laughs> but the rest is true. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's Ooh. free. Okada-san. What is free often proves most costly. <laughs> Gonna take them or not? Well, are we sure you don't want anything in return? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. Hmm. But patience, I got none. I mean, I would like to know what these reasons are, but until then, I will take the shot. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, hmm. a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown. And we'll be left with trash up to our elbows <laughs> that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. I mean, that's it already pretty impressive. Enough. Then go. Be on your way. And you're not curious what we're after? Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. <laughs> In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Probably. So, thanks either way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Alright, I think we got the intel that we need. Now let's get out of here. Okay, so what's your opinion on this? A delightful, mature woman. Of course. This information, it could be just what we need. 
But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. All right, well, um, either way, keep a low profile. <laughs> Or just pretend you're that comedian. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if mm. I tried. Be safe, V. Well, I'm doing fine for the most part. Very few people seem to recognize me, so... I think it's going to be okay. Um, yeah, it looks like there is no immediate follow-up quest to this. I guess he's just going to call me and then we can continue with this one. So we really only have this main quest left now, which um, is kind of like two parts for some reason. Wait a day for Takamura's call. Okay, so it's just just a day. But I don't want to uh, move on with the main mission anyway. Instead, I guess we will spend the rest of this episode doing some other stuff. Um, we do have some side jobs around here. Uh, I can obviously try one of these. Maybe the one over here. Hey, it's somewhere over here. Oh, he it's... did it again. It's Brendan. And we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. <laughs> and so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people <laughs> like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now, but thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person <laughs> I know. I'll see you later. Um, so are you now like a counselor too, giving advice to everyone who needs it? <laughs> Either way, tell me a joke. Hey, Brendan. Got any jokes for me today? What do you get when you're fired by a corp? Well, Severed and put in a package! That... that barely qualifies as a joke. I'm sorry, Brandon. That was not a good joke. But yeah, uh, who was that girl you were talking to? Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest <laughs> friend. Gosh, she's so nice, and pretty, and sensitive. I like talking to her. <laughs> Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a tiancha? I overestimated you, you're sentient. I mean, he does seem very sentient. You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier, you thought of a joke. You're sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. Right. That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. <laughs> okay. So that was it. Just a little chat with Brandon. Um, give me some of this, Brandon. Daring Dairy Milkshake. Alright, uh, see you later, maybe? I guess we'll see if uh, there's going to be more to this. But yeah, um, this was a very short one. So let's find uh, something else to do. And I think I would actually like to do another... Um, of these gigs. We got one over here. Um, but I haven't really done a lot of jobs for Wakako yet, so maybe I'm actually going with this one over here. I'm guessing this is also for Wakako. Um, so yeah, I'll head over there and I'll bring you back once I've arrived. I mean, I can shorten this a little bit via uh, fast travel, but 
I still will have to go a little bit on foot, probably. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> this is like a movie premiere? I mean, this is just an advertisement for Lizzie's bar, but it clearly looks like there's some people on the red carpet here. Who are these guys? Natalia Petrenkova and Aniket Prabhu. <laughs> okay, so no one special. I mean, clearly they must be special somehow, but probably not relevant for me. I guess this is just like a nice little detail of stuff going on in the background, which, you know, is pretty neat. Anyway, um, let's keep moving. I think I'm almost at my destination. And there's our call. We, oui, my dear, I need you to pay a visit to a tiger claw den and retrieve something for me. I know you are up to the task. <laughs> I am attaching more information. Read it carefully. All right, let's have a look. Geek type thievery, objective steel vortex credit chip. Location Tiger Claws Casino on Longshore South. Details. The vulture is the wisest bird. While others lose strength in the pursuit of prey, the vulture waits patiently. It only spreads its wings when it smells blood on the air. You will be my vulture, V. I heard a Tiger Claws Casino has been robbed by one of their own, a dealer. The girl had an alias, Vortex, and she managed the casino's machines. She programmed them to skim a small percentage, so the drop from each win landed in her bucket. It took years for the tigers to realize how they were being cheated. You can imagine they were not pleased, but their ferocity extended too far. Vortex died during the interrogation before revealing where she stored the stolen money. A vulture is wiser than a tiger, V. You will find it. I will send you the Vortex's last known location. Don't let me down. Okay. So, uh, she stole the money from the tigers, but they haven't found it yet. So we will try to find it instead. So the crab ship is basically the prey <laughs> that Sobben already killed. And we are supposed to retrieve it now. But where the hell am I supposed to go? There's nothing here. Am I supposed to go down here? I mean, this looks like sewers. Oh, do I have to go through here? Is it like a hidden casino? <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, um... I really got the person over here. Yep, that's a tiger. Um... But I mean, this area is not hostile, so he should not become hostile, right? Ooh, I can't get into this door. But yeah, he doesn't seem to care that I'm here. Because this is not a hostile area. But um, I might be able to use him to ping some of his colleagues. All right, there we go. Quite a few of them. Um, let me try to tag a few. <laughs> yeah, whenever an enemy is standing too close to a piece of equipment, it's difficult to properly put a tag on them. Right, now I can actually take a bunch of them. Let's do this one more time. Someone over here? Again, it's taking like whatever that is and not the guy. So <laughs> that's a pity. Usually I have good success rate by trying to aim for their head. There we go. Now this worked. Since I can't see the equipment anymore, I can actually properly tech everyone. Alright, um, 
think I'm going to go. There may have been another person over here, but I guess we will manage either way. Um, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I'm guessing that maybe the hostile area is going to begin behind this door. So, let me take care of this guy first. Again, memory wipe plus overheat should take him down quietly. Ooh! Ooh! That affected pretty much everyone around here. But, I mean, it doesn't look like they actually care too much about it, so I haven't been discovered. Um, and yeah, apparently this is still not hostile territory. <laughs> uh, if it was, this camera would have already uh, detected me. I completely forgot to take a look at this first. Um, Alright, let's have a quick look around here. But I think I have been pretty thorough. And almost all enemies should be tagged. <laughs> all right. There's no one in this room. And yeah, I have most of these guys already. And we're back. Okay, so um, I'm still in neutral territory. No, now it's hostile. And now it's not hostile anymore. <laughs> what is going on? I mean, clearly this guy doesn't care, so... I can just move through here. Alright. Guess I will do that. Oh, this is the actual How's casino. How's your day going? Win anything? Yeah, a few eddies here and there. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's something, right? But Ooh. I just them all second I got him. Yeah. Won't be able to get in here. Okay, so apparently I can just move around in the casino. Okay, um... Hey, I need to find an office, though. Don't even ask. It's Annie's. It's pathetic. Say what you will about Vortex. She could work Ooh. machines. No. Someone Say was what talking you about will Vortex. about Vortex. She could work the machines. Not like our new gong. <laughs> okay. Alright, this is just a restroom, right? And so is this one. Okay, I'm looking for an office. Oh, I can talk to the barkeeper. Um, first of all, let's maybe take a drink. Thanks a lot. Um, so, let's ask a few questions. Tell me about the casino. How's the casino trade? Any big wins out there? Of course. Anyone can win big. You just have to want it. <laughs> Why not play yourself then? I don't know. It's against my religion. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm a Muslim. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you also sell alcohol. What, you a fucking expert on the Torah <laughs> now? Mind your own business. Yeah, I don't know. I feel that you might not actually be a Muslim. But lots of tigers around here. See a lot of tigers. They run this place? That's right. And very well. Know what else they do well? <laughs> Break the knees of people who ask questions. Well, that's too bad, because I have one more question. What happened to Vortex? Woman used to work here. A net runner. Name's Vortex, you know her? I see you're searching for trouble. Whatever your reason, don't involve me. I know nothing. Talk or it's trouble you'll find. Have it your way. I can actually use like a threatening option here. I think I only have that high uh, of my strength skill because of my implants. Because the actual stat is not at that uh, number. I think it's 15 maybe. 
Um, but sure, let's uh, give this a try. Trouble's what you'll find if you don't start talking. Another word, I call security. You think that's got me spooked? I ain't scared of them. You shout a thing, I shoot the place up, starting with you. This Botex totally you care will. so much for, she cheated them, okay? So they threw her body in the sewer. Same spot the kitchen huh. dumps used cooking oil. Bodies there don't last long. That's all I know, so fucking leave me alone. So, should I be looking in the sewers, maybe? for the body. But I mean they would have searched the body before they dumped it, so I doubt that the chip is still on, his, uh, on the body, right? But I will try to remember that just in case um, I actually have to look for the body at some point. Um, yeah, what do I got here? This is probably not related to my current task. I will uh, check this out later. Um, I mean, this looks like it's just going back outside again. This is a door that I can't open. Okay, S let's see what else we can find around here. Um, we got a server room here. I mean, it's not an office, but. Oh, what should I do? I'll do anything, okay? You just fuck off now, okay? <laughs> What's going on? Number one, baby. No stalking. I just opened this What's door the and deal? some of the civilians seem to be freaking out. Okay, this area is actually hostile. Um, but I can easily dispose of this guy, so let's do it. Now, okay. let's take a look at this over here. Okay, we got a few messages. Fix ceiling from Maki Ejiri to Iori Hada. Hey, when we getting someone to plug that hole in the ceiling? You know, in storage behind the bar, not urgent, I know, but it's ugly as sin and getting all kinds of critters crawling through. I'm tired of it. Thanks, Maki. Hmm, wonder if this is important somehow. Netrunner from Iori Harder to All, don't fucking ignore this email. We got a runner helping us score back the Eddie's vortex swiped from the casino. We gave him a room on the second floor, so give the guy some peace and fucking quiet, will ya? Again, not sure if this really tells me what I'm looking for here, and this is just spam, right? But let's look around a little bit. What do we got here, for example? Okay, this is just the local network. Let's remove all of this. Um. Okay, got some loot, some ammo. I guess I'll take it. And I suppose I may as well hack this access point while I'm at it. Um. 1C, E9, 55, that's at least two of them. And now let's try to get the third one as well, there we go. Okay. The fuck do you want, huh? Oh, now this guy is actually getting suspicious, okay. So, maybe I'm just going to take this exit again. Someone else's ass, idiota. You ain't getting shit out of me! Um, okay, the cameras should all be disabled, right? You just fuck off now, okay? What are you I'm not sure why the civilians got so agitated all of a sudden. <laughs> they seem to have more um, awareness than the guards, because it seems that they actually noticed that I entered that restricted zone. Ooh, what do we got here? Stairs. I feel that I probably have to go up there. Yeah, this is just back to the server just room. Fuck off now, okay? Um. What are you playing at? Okay, let's let's try to bait you these two guys already. away from the door, so I can get up these stairs. I'm going to bait you to this location. Why are you following me? Oh. Fuck off. 
Okay, they're going this way. And I will use this opportunity to go up here. There we go. I mean, it's still not hostile. Okay, now it's hostile. <laughs> Why are you following me? Fuck off. Shy, um, got, got your song? The fuck do you want? We huh? got two people over here. Rule number one, baby. But no I might stalking. be able to hide behind What's this little wall deal? over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we have a camera. Quickly, let's turn it off. I thought I disabled all the cameras. So how did this happen? Um. Okay, now there's a guy over here. Ooh, okay, let's let's use um, memory wipe plus overheat again. I'm also a little bit worried about this person over there. They could see me any time. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> he's still not quite finished. Now, let's. Oh, um. Yeah, that's the person that I saw before, but it's like one of these net runners, right? They don't actually notice me. They are too busy <laughs> net running. Um, but this person might be a problem. Let me take him down first. Okay, now. This looks like it could be an office, so let's look around a little bit. Oh, got some ammo here. But nothing else that I can actually take with me. Oh, um... Apparently, I just found what I've been looking for. Okay, um, <laughs> it's got to be somewhere over here, apparently. Okay, so I have the chip. Um, let's take a quick look around to see if there's any other valuable loot. Oh, we got another terminal over here. Pack your bags from Vortex to Lily. Time to pack up. They're catching on. Hoped to shave off a little more, but... The take's not half bad. Not worth the risk. Do what you gotta do. I'll get the car checked and buy a pass. Be ready to head out Saturday by dawn. Love you, Vortex. Yeah, I guess um, that never happened. <laughs> she got caught first. Okay, this looks like scam. And this probably is well. Revenue. Something's not adding up here. Should be, well, around half a million. Big chunk of impulse is missing. Need to talk to Vortex about this. Okay, this is when they notice that stuff is missing. I see. But I mean, apparently the chip was just lying around here somewhere. So it wasn't really all that well hidden. It was literally right next to <laughs> the Netrun. <laughs> but okay. I'm not complaining. Um... So, where is this going to lead me? Oh, is this the guy on the bridge? It's probably the guy on the bridge. <laughs> let me take him out as well. And maybe this is like another way out of here. To hex this access point to one C fifty five seven A fifty five again. That's at least two of them. And now I just need two more one Cs. Here we go. And yeah, looks like I might be able to uses to escape there we go okay um, we did it now of course I am slightly interested in the information the barkeeper gave me 
that I might be able to find the body somewhere in the sewers. Might have some interesting loot. But maybe I will um, check this out later. Let's just deliver the ship and we can maybe take care of this <laughs> later. And there we go. Job completed. And there's our call. I have received information that Vortex's shard is on its way. You did not disappoint me. <laughs> that deserves compensation. Thank you. I am closing the contract and transferring your fee. All right, there we go. Uh, job finished. I leveled up. I got my reward. And the episode is getting very long, so I'm going to make a cut here. I may take a few minutes off camera to look around the sewers just to make sure that there isn't like any hidden loot from wherever they dumped the body. And I will take a look at the messages um, next episode. For now, let's call it a day. As always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.